Continuing our conversations from the recent Rural Economic Outlook Conference, Courtney Kelly talks about supply chain challenges and some of the issues that are on the horizon. So my topic uh, is about the Russia-Ukraine war and evolving developments in agricultural supply chains. So because it's really about supply chains in general, I kind of start with the pandemic. So we kind of walk it back a little bit uh, to even prior to the pandemic, talk about kind of where the ag, we were in this steady state in the ag economy, and then everything just got disrupted with the pandemic. So we kind of start there uh, because that's important because the pandemic was so disruptive that we were still really working through some things uh, by the time Russia invaded Ukraine in February of this year. So particularly in markets for cattle, with Oklahoma being a very important cattle production state, the pandemic had severe effects on the cattle market in particular. So I'll be talking about that. And some of the reasons uh, why these disruptions were so uh, persistent and also impactful for producers. But these disruptions have affected demand. They've effectively, in some situations, you know, cut off demand or affected a producer's ability to get inputs or made inputs more expensive. So a producer may have a plan at the beginning of the year and then Russia invades Ukraine, inputs go a lot higher than they expected them to and now all of a sudden, you know, we either, you know, that it might affect demand for credit from a producer, it might affect um, how much they have to pay for expenses, especially if they didn't already have those inputs on hand. And then it can also affect the price they receive for the products that they produce that we're now uh, harvesting. We do both in-depth research into topics as well as monthly publications that we call Ag Finance Updates. Those are all available on our website at kansascityfed.org and we have a, an agriculture page there that's completely dedicated to information about agriculture, where that be, and, the, and we also publish all the data behind our reports too. So, and since the pandemic, we've also focused a lot on food markets. So you know, agricultural producers are unique because they're not only producing agricultural commodities and food and feed, but they're also consumers of food as well. So we also um, have some work on what's going on with food prices and inflation from that standpoint too. I hope one of the things that people know about the Department of Agricultural Economics in particular is that there's a lot of graduates from this program that are doing, you know, really cool work, especially I was noticing in the ag policy space. Um, so when I was at Texas A&M this last week and one of their um, assistant directors of their Ag Policy Centers, Bart Fisher, who's an alumni here. We have a director on our Oklahoma City Board of Directors, Brady Sidwell, who's, a, who's an alumni of the department. Um, and so, I, I, and there's a lot of different examples too. And I just think that, I hope that students of the department are very proud of that fact and that the faculty know how much we appreciate them, those of us that are out in the workforce now and how much we learned from conferences like this when we were here and from the faculty that really prepared us to to do these these types of analysis that I do every day.